Hello everyone, my name is Nomus and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Picking up here shortly after our last episode. Uh, we're in the afternoon of another Horde day. It is September 14th in game. It is minus 44 degrees outside. In the last episode we, among other things, leveled up our carpentry to level 6 finally. Uh, due to us finding that advanced carpentry book which helped us along quite a bit. And uh, we were able to make some stairs, get a roof onto our little cabin, and uh, we've made a, a large expansion uh, to the base here. And after putting the roof on, we were a little bit disappointed that uh, the temperature changes weren't being reflected inside our, our new enclosed space. But I did figure out how to fix that. So now going inside, it is only minus 14 degrees inside. And what actually ended up being the issue, as has been in the past, are the posts. Uh, now posts are are automatically added in, or pillars I guess, automatically added in by the game, uh, the building system uh, these days, uh, before you had to put them in manually. But when we had intersected this wall here with this wall, it had put a post in here, and that post, once I removed it with the sledgehammer, uh, that fixed everything inside here. So um, I guess something for us to keep in mind uh, how how walls are intersecting and then the posts that the game or the pillars that the game puts in Are gonna have an effect on whether or not the game is gonna consider that room being enclosed or not Anyway, that has been sorted that is fixed We now have a uh, a lot warmer space when the oven is on when the stove is on it is now plus 22 inside so quite cozy I do want to uh, chop down some more trees here so we can continue building out our expansion. For the Horde Knight, I think we have got... Oh, there goes our axe. Let's just pop open our journal that we're keeping here now. Horde Knights. We're expecting 35 Zeds tonight on September 14th. So... Uh, let's see if we can fix this axe. Repair that. 70% repair. 100% chance of success. There we go. And we can keep chopping. So now both of our fire axes have been repaired one time. And we've still got quite a few trees to go through before we actually cut our way through to the next lake over. Okay, that's quite a few logs. Let's start bundling this stuff up. So we'll make three stacks here. And two stacks here. Good, so we got five stacks total. Let's uh, let's cut down some more. So it's 3 p.m. Uh, again, we're gonna try and do a nap before the horde comes in. This time we will make sure that our alarm is set correctly. Great, all right, that's holding up. Six logs everywhere I go. All right, make a four log stack there. Four log stack there. And it looks like we're out of sheet ropes, okay. Let's take as much back as we can. So we can grab was a one, two, three, four, five stacks, which is 20 logs we can bring back at one time, which is pretty good. We need to fill up our water. Starting to get a little thirsty. Uh, our character has not gotten sick. Victor has not gotten queasy or nauseous. So we took care of burning uh, the three piles of Zed that we had accumulated. That's good. Now, uh, one other thing, one other little hiccup that we've got here. 
are these walls. Uh, I need to move everything in a bit because uh, there were some walls uh, facing east-west that uh, he wasn't able to upgrade. I think because they're right on the, the edge of where he can actually walk. So we'll sort that out as well. Let's drop those. Drop this one. Drop one of those on stack. Put that away. Uh, let's saw these up. The we'll sop two. We'll drop these two. I'll grab our sledge. So I might have to remove some more walls here. So let's see if it'll let us upgrade this. It looks like it is going to let us do that. So that one's good. But I got rid of this one here, so I think I need to come out one more wall and then over. I think that's why I figured out. Okay, and then this one back here we'll have to get rid of. Okay, and then we'll get rid of this. And I think if I just close that up, we should be fine from here. Uh, 5 p.m. Got five hours to go. Uh, we are a bit hungry. Let's have some of this stew. For a quick dinner. All right, let's saw up these logs here. Oh, let's actually make sure we can upgrade this one here. All right, so see, this is what I'm talking about. I, it won't let me upgrade this. So actually, I'm going to have to come out one more and then across here. Okay. So we'll get rid of this too then. Yeah, I can come up one more. Or, yeah. I guess we could just make a little fishing area back here. Might be an option. So let's put a doorway there, maybe. Okay, I think we are done with the sledge now. We can put that down. Uh, we're down to our last 23 nails. Let's go grab another box. Got five boxes left. Uh, that's fishing time. Let's change our alarm. I don't have any more bait fish, I don't think. So 8 p.m., 9.50. Fill that up. And you know what? I think we're going to drop our stuff for now. Yeah. We should actually just have our nap now. So I think I could probably sleep. Yeah, I mean, it's minus four. I could sleep in here without actually using the oven. Probably only need to use that when it's super cold out. Uh, so let's have a quick smoke here. Uh, we will need to have a beta blocker, though, until we expand this room or move our bedroom out to another room. That down to 76 kilograms now. Double check our watch. Set for 950. That is set. Uh, let's put away our axe. We're going to use our blunt weapon again. I think I have our crowbar in our backpack. Okay. Let's 
sleep. Perfect. And yeah, we were just fine. Minus 16. Didn't get chilly at all. Alright, that's a dead battery. Let's put in a new one. Nope. Do I not have any more? I guess I don't have any more. wonder if I do, though. Hold on. Let's check our back here. I thought I did have another battery. No, I don't. Alright, 35 zombies. We're at 736, so 771. Here comes the music. Try and meet some of these before they actually get to our fences. Call them all over to us. Again, so we don't have to go hunting. Fences. Try and draw them in. Is he going over? Yeah. And I really need to get that uh, another battery though. It is super dark. Oh shit. Let's uh, try and keep corpses over here. Oh my god, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of zombies. Oh, we were panicking. It's so dark. away from our house. Wow. I can barely see. I will make sure to turn the, uh, the brightness up on this for you guys. I think it would probably be a good idea for us to just clear out as much grass on here as we can. So it makes it that much easier to see during these battles. Oh, we got a fireman here with a full set of gear. Our recently leveled up long blunt skill definitely helping us out. Crushing zombies a lot faster. A little exerted. Sure, if I'm gonna get a moment to rest, though. All right, I think we're getting close. Where are we at? 759, still 12 out there. Alright, let's drag these other ones up to the fences. Give ourselves a bit of a breather. Come around the fence. No, they're on this side. Go. We're almost there. Oh, another uh, another bunny. He 
left. So we really need to find more yellow flashlights. So we can set up more spotlights. Or we get that generator magazine. To get our generator hooked up and then uh, just put external lights, exterior lights on the walls. still six out there somewhere. Got the majority of them. Since it's so dark, I think we gotta... Actually, we could go out with uh, our flashlight and uh, our baton. Here, let's just rest up a bit. Quick rest. We'll go hunt some down. Okay. Let's go. Guess I could have pulled the battery out of this flashlight and used that in our spotlight. We'll have some corpses to check out uh, in the morning. And then we should probably pile them up as best we can and, and burn them again. See if we can attract the last several out. It's probably our, our most dicey horde yet, though. Minus 48, almost 49. Hor the horrific wind chill. <laughs> that is more common than not. I mean, we say about six. Okay, well, if they're oh, there they are right there. So I say if they're not up here, then we'll just go to sleep. Here they are. At least four of them. Definitely not as adept with our short blunt weapons. But in general, the uh, nightstick is a pretty effective short blunt. Got that. Here, another one. Just one more out there. Pilo Crepes employee, you're a long way from home. Ice cream server. Two watches. Standard military issue wristwatch. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Let's replace our black watch. Does that give us anything else? Doesn't. That is kind of cool. Okay, I don't know where this last one is. But I'm okay with having just one zombie out there in the wilderness. Alright, let's get inside. Get to sleep. Oh, door is over here. 
Uh, this one actually doesn't give us temperature though. Oh, never mind. This one's this one's worse. Never mind. We want our digital watch. But I know I have a fancy metallic style dress watch here. Which we will take. Minus 50. Minus 21 inside. Okay, this one we might want to... That, that's a little cold to be sleeping. There we go, plus 21. Uh, we also have a berry salad. One of those berries that we foraged. There, we'll grab that, eat that. Um, have our beta blocker. Get rid of that panic and sleep. Now we are unpleasantly hot. All right, well, we made it through another horde night, guys. So, next one will be September uh, 21, which will be 40 Zeds. You know what? Let's start tracking how many we actually kill. So, we killed 34. Just so we know about how many are, are still wandering about. Okay. Let's continue with this. Finish these walls up, and then we'll go out and we'll take a look at the clothing and stack up some corpses. All right. Oh, I was gonna do a wall there. God damn, or a doorway there. Shoot. Right. Well, actually, I could probably just dismantle this, right? Will it let me? Oh, probably because I'm carrying too much stuff. All right, let's upgrade this stuff first. I mean, I guess I could put the doorway here, too. No, I think I want it there. Okay, so let's disassemble this. I love how you can do that now. Okay, let's do a door frame. Yeah, so we'll just move our, um, our fishing area back here. All right, let's grab that. And as many of these as we can take. Go up to the roof. Oh. Did I have my flashlight on all night? I probably did, didn't I? Probably wasted a bunch of battery. Alright, so we're going to start filling in this whole space now. Uh, let's, I will just keep that on us. Okay, carpentry. It's going to drop the, pl uh, the stacks, but that's not necessary. You're not wearing this? There go. Not sure what we can do with these dead batteries. Probably just chuck them.
And skill wise, we have a sliver towards le level seven. No book read. All right, so another option here, like this doesn't have to all just be one room. We could get rid of this wall here and then just build out a wall like to there. Maybe that would make this room big enough for us to sleep uh, without getting panicked. Let's try, let's try this. Let's build this out here. stack rarely do I ever have a uh, complete plan in my head for what a, uh, a base build is gonna look like most of the time you just go with the flow finish up the stew and something just appears something comes out of nowhere as far as a final building. I think having the uh, little fishing area out there, I think that'll, that'll be kind of cool. Then we could, um, we could even just wall off or do a better job of walling off this back area here too. Uh, carpentry floors okay so and that's the doorway so let's all right let's see if we can build this out so this is all one room here underneath and see if we stay panicked inside. Uh, we'll get our sludge later. Put up the walls first. We'll make sure to get rid of the pillars where need be. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> it's grass and dirt. What a wonderful sight. Okay, so I think I think we go across like that, and then across like that. Yeah, so I'll have to do one more roof up here. So I'll do like a doorway here, two walls. those Do another doorway there not sure what this room will end up being and we may like this may not be big enough to not be panicked. This is all just kind of a test right now. We may end up having to make changes again regardless. Okay, so now we need more wood. So let's grab our axe again. Crowbar back. Up here. Combine that. Put that away. 
I uh, got some other stuff here we can drop off. Uh, we oh we do have another battery here. I'm gonna hold on to this dead one. I don't, I don't know. Maybe there's like a mod we can turn on or enable to recharge batteries. Ah, kitchen knife. Is that okay? Um, military watch. I'll just dump that in here. Doesn't look like we can dismantle it anyway. Okay, let's go get some more. More wood. Never ending. <laughs> Look at all that stuff to pick up. Too funny. Alright, so we still got a couple stacks here. Alright, let's stack those. I'll have to pick these up. Stack them. And two logs there, so we'll cut down One more. All right, cool. Primary. Secondary. Pick up. Pick up. Back we go. Search as we go. Nothing there. those and rinse and repeat I feel like we're getting a pretty good mixture of um, PZ elements in this series with the uh, the horde dice Kind of every uh, two or three episodes, getting some base building in, getting some looting in. Just really haven't uh, done any farming, but um, you know what? Maybe, maybe we could turn this into like a greenhouse once everything is roofed in. So I feel kind of, uh, feels kind of weird for us to farm outside. I think it would work. I don't think there's, I think if the mechanics would still work, but um, uh, it doesn't really make sense to do farming in minus 40, 50 degree weather. So maybe we'll make this into like a greenhouse for a few crops. I mean, it'll be minus, you know, 14, which is still a little unrealistic, but a little bit better. Okay, so... You know what? Let's do a window here. Walls on the rest. Get another stack. If it wasn't for these uh, sheet ropes and bundling up the logs. This, w this process would take a lot longer. I decided to wear these long johns even though they're you got a lot of holes in them. Just for some added insulation. I think it's helped. Alright. Upgrade that. Put a door 
short frame in here. All right, then we're gonna start removing this stuff, so. Uh, let's drop these planks. Let's move these bags. So our farming stuff we'll put in here. This is the darker duffel bag. Uh, first aid. Well, let's put first aid out here. Let's see if we can... Actually, we could leave that chair there. That's fine. Oh, no, we're going to get rid of this wall here, so we'll need to move it. Let's see if we can move this. We can. Put this out by our fishing area. Here we go. Try and move this shelf. I can go in the farm area. All right, let's put it over here, maybe. All right, and then uh, let's disassemble this stuff. Try and salvage some materials. I do wish they, um, instead of just having dismantable objects, it would actually tell you what you're dismantling. There have been times where I've mistakenly dismantled the wrong piece. Oh, I might need to put a pillar there. Like this part here, I don't know if I'm going to dismantle this exterior wall or this one. So this one I might just destroy. Save me the hassle of figuring that part out. Alright, so this is no longer considered indoors. Which makes sense because we have this open area on the roofs there. Okay, let's grab these planks. We'll fill that roof portion in. So out here. Let's use up the rest of the planks here. Continue filling that roof in. Okay, so is this indoors now? Let's see. It is. And, okay, we are still panicking. Slight panic. So we need to make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's, we're still panicking. So we could probably bump it out that way or even this way. I mean, we're not panicking super hard, super quickly, so it is better. Um, we don't have a lot of room back here to expand, but if we're moving the fishing area over there, I suppose that would work. All right, let's grab our fishing stuff. Oh, actually, we did have bait fish here still. Uh, take campfire materials. Yeah, I think we'll bump the wall out a couple tiles that way and maybe a couple tiles this way. We'll see if that makes it bigger, big enough overall. All right, 
doesn't actually let me build fire really anywhere over here. Do it partially on the water, but actually you can do it anywhere on the water. Which okay. <laughs> doesn't really make sense. That's sound void. I'll just put it here for now. Okay, what else we got to move around? We're gonna have to. Move. Oh, can we not move these um, water coolers? Must be a bug. Can't move the water cooler. Since we um, enabled that water dispenser mod. Alright, so, alternate option. We expand the wall out this way. Which means we'll have to move this stuff. This guy somewhere else. Will this fit out here at all somewhere? Yeah, there we go. Put that there. Okay, I'm going to do a quick edit here, uh, move some stuff around, extend this out, and we'll see if that's enough space uh, for our character to no longer be panicked. So we'll cut back in a minute. All right, well, after uh, a couple more nights here and a lot of carpentry and a lot of hard work, this is where we're at. Actually had some thunder last night was interesting. I've walled out this section here. Everything's still considered outdoors because I haven't finished putting the roof on yet. We do still have an access out to this area, which um, we'll figure out what we're going to do there. But hopefully, with this all being one room, I might have to get rid of this wall too. Um, I wanted to uh, just hold off moving this until I'd used up most of the uh, the fuel in there because once we move it we'll lose all that fuel i'm hoping uh, hoping all this will be considered one room so let's go up to the roof and we got 41 nails left that'll be enough to do this roof let's unstack another stack of logs saw these up And uh, let's put all these floors slash roofs in. I think I'll have to do one more stack. So in a matter of a couple weeks, our place has gone from this little shack to this huge, <laughs> huge base. But um, that's what you gotta do when you're claustrophobic, I guess. You gotta make a big... Big spot for yourself. All right, yeah, we need one more stack here. Now it looks like uh, we have grown our hair out and our beard quite a bit. Once we're done building this, we'll take a look and see what Victor is uh, looking like these days. A true survivor now. He has claimed this lake as his own, and given the hockey mask that we are sporting, we actually a few episodes ago uh, back, maybe even several episodes back, we had a uh, viewer suggestion that this should be dubbed Camp Crystal Lake. 
in uh, in honor of the Jason Voorhees zombie that we uh, killed in the first episode. And I am okay with that. All right, that is roofed in. You know what? Since we have extra planks, let's continue roofing in the uh, farming area, the, the grow op. Whenever we have extra planks, we'll just work on this spot here. We almost have enough to finish that. Okay, is this considered indoors? Let's see. Minus 42 outside. Minus 16 inside. A little minor flooding <laughs> going on in the back corner there. And no panic. Okay, so even with this little wall here, this is all still considered one room. Wow. What an ordeal. Alright, so I need to get some floors in here now. Tidy up the place. If I put floors here, that should get rid of the water. So let's do that. I wasn't expecting uh, this to take the entirety of the episode, but it's okay. What's our carpentry out now? About a third of the way to level seven. Yeah, okay, that gets rid of the water just nicely. And we got about four days until the next horde, so <laughs> we might have another horde uh, in the next episode. We're flying through the days here. All right, let's unstack this one. We've gone through so much wood today. Right. And I mean, I'm still going to need more because I have to floor that in too, but just worry about this section here first. And I'm probably out of nails. Still got planks, yep. And we're getting low on nails too. Three boxes left. Hold on, there's a uh, pillar I do want to put in here. And this shouldn't mess up the indoor-outdoor. No, still. Still indoors, and that just kind of covers that gap up a bit. I think I will get rid of this wall here. This is kind of a weird layout. All right, so there's a little bit of water there. Cover that up. All right. So we obviously need some doors. But um, for the most part, this looks pretty good. We can decide where exactly we want the bedroom to be. might make sense for the bedroom to go like right here. We can move all this stuff around. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure out some more kind of floor planning. That's good for now. I am thinking I'm going to uh, turn off this water dispenser mod. So I can't... I don't know if it's because I already put these down prior to the mod being enabled, but I can't move these dispensers at all and I... Oh, I can take the bottle from the dispenser now. What happens when I do that? Maybe now will it let me move it? Oh, okay, now it lets me move it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And can I add water? Hold on. Let me just pick this up. Maybe I don't need to just 
pour into water. Okay, it can't. Okay, never mind. We're going to keep the mod on. I just didn't understand how it works. Put that back on. That makes more sense now. But there's no option for me to remove this one. Maybe it has to be a... Uh, no, oh, it says 109. I don't know. More more uh, playing around will have to be done with that. Oh, let's see. The smoke. I think I've had enough base building for one day. Looks pretty good, though. Um, we do need some food. So let's play this. This is no longer fresh, so we gotta cook this up. Grab that. We'll make another stew. Let's fill up our water. So we'll add those in. I found a radish. I'll get more wood. some more dried chickpeas. We'll try putting in some chili. I can't remember if we can do chili in a stew. Yes, we can. And let's put in tomato all right that's good okay we'll cook this up just trying to use up the rest of this fuel in here uh in one of the nights uh in between that cut i did uh, it was minus 20 and i tried sleeping um inside um, without the fire on, and he was fine, so. I think we can sleep to uh, at least minus 20 with our clothing. Let's try lighting this with a pine cone. No, we can't light it with a pine cone. What are these li the pine cones for? We're out of uh, lighters again, though. Getting bored as well. Let's boil this water. Let's boil that. Clean that up. And what should we be reading here next? Maybe the farming? Uh, we read first aid, right? No, we didn't. Maybe we should read first aid. Or Taylor. No, tailoring we should be reading. Alright. It's the new book we read while we're cooking. yes, we do have to go out and uh, check those zombie corpses for clothing and to pile them up, so. We're almost done cooking here. And that's done. Place that down. A couple bowls of stew. that down. We'll eat one of those. Should find a spoon so we can eat in a civilized manner. And so the rest of our life is slowly becoming more civilized. 
let's go check some corpses. A priest. Fingerless gloves. Let's grab those. Boots. More fingerless gloves. Probably move them off camera. I mean, we'll probably get some mannequins at some point to display all these uh, outfits that we're gathering from the hordes. Suit jacket. Gold wristwatch. It's a world. Might not be much for salvageable clothes this time, but we do have a hunting knife. Let's grab that. Another watch. Oh, orange hunting vest in good condition. Leather gloves in good condition. Right on. Check those. All right, then there were some up here. Also suit jackets. All right, that's the ice cream one. No crepes. Riverside Rangers baseball hamlet. Okay, I think that's good. All right, I'm gonna continue reading that tailoring book. Uh, hopefully, finish that, and then come out, rip up clothing, stack corpses, burn them. All the uh, general maintenance things we need to do after a horde night. That does it for this episode. Thanks for coming back and watching another one. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. There's our base. So far it is coming along. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so uh, you stay up to date and get those notifications for when the next episode of Project Zomboid is up. Twitch.p tv slash nomus plays uh where we do stream from time to time probably zomboid mostly but other games occasionally and down in the description there will be a link to our discord join that if you feel so inclined until next time guys i'll talk to you all later